So over the past few weeks, I've talked about uh, stimulus and uh, guaranteed income programs. I've talked about social security and uh, pandemic EBT. I've talked about unemployment and a recession and inflation and almost everything in between. But one thing that you guys have reminded me I have not touched on in quite some time is additional relief for families or these child tax credit payments. Now, I wanna to touch on that today because according to most recent reports, there are still discussions for additional assistance so that families can be taken care of in 2022. Now, what are we gonna talk about? Well, the main thing that's being discussed for relief for families, okay? There's actually two things. The first thing, and again, we could throw three in there. One would be, you know, uh, child, not the child tax credit payments, but uh, additional support and forgiving or uh, pretty much canceling student debt, right? That's one, I'll throw that one in there. The second one, and this is, this is one that's been discussed is, well, let's provide uh, checks to families, okay, for gasoline. Now again, that's one that's been discussed, but it's not one that's really being pushed because it's only really being talked about of right about the, the tune of $100. That's it, 100, maybe maybe $300 as a, as a gas voucher, but that's really it, okay? And the logistics behind it and getting this to the right people and really, it, it's just too much. So that's not really being pushed any further, but it's still in the discussions. The third thing, and possibly the biggest one is the child tax credit payments. Now, here's what I can tell you. Due to the expiration of the child tax credit payments back in December, uh, the reports as of uh, a little over a month ago were saying that 3.7 million children fell back into poverty. And again, this is all due to the fact that uh, Democrats were believing that they had the support to extend this program, which is one of the reasons why they only ran it for six months. The problem is they didn't have the support. Well. According to the most recent reports, the only way Democrats can extend the child tax credit payments is to count on Republican senators. Now, there, there isn't a, especially over the past couple of years, there's not, there has not really been a time where Democrats can count on Republicans or vice versa. Now, the problem that we're face, really seeing right now and that uh, Democrats are going to face is that Republicans are not going to go out of their way to help Democrats provide a benefit that would actually hurt Republicans in the midterm elections. And the reason for this, according to multiple experts, is because Republicans know that if they just uh, pretty much maintain the status quo, then we are going to see Republicans take over the House and the Senate after the midterm elections. So come 2023, the House and the Senate will be run by Republicans and we'll have a president who's a Democrat, which is gonna cause a lot of issues, okay? But not only that, multiple economists, they predict that passing an extended child tax credit payment, and right now this would only cause additional inflation at this time. That would hurt, okay? That would definitely hurt lower and middle income households. And so that's one of the reasons why, according to Democrats, they can't pass the child tax credit payments as is because it would cause additional inflation. It would also cause the national deficit to run up because they would have to eliminate other social spending programs in order to fund this one. But here's something that you may not know. And I've talked about this before, but it's been quite a while, is Republican uh, Senator Mitt Romney out of Utah. He, and this has been a while ago, but he proposed a bill called the Family Security Act. Now, this would actually provide up to $1,250 per month to your children. The way it would work is a child between the ages of actually negative four months, so four months prior to your child's birth and up to the age of six, okay? So right before they turn six. So five years age, five years of old, five years of age and younger would get $350 per month Anybody that's between the ages of six and 18 would get $250 per month, okay, with a total of $1,250. So let's say you have five children, all between the ages of six and 18, then you would get $1,250. A 
let's say you have 10 children, all between the ages of, uh, let's say between zero and 18, you would only get $1,250 per month. Now I say only because technically you'd be missing out on quite a bit of money, but at the same time, there's a maximum amount. Now, here's what you need to understand. According to uh, reports, Democrats don't have time to waste. It's because of this that they're looking into multiple different options to actually provide relief to the American people. And child tax credit payments are one of them. Uh, student debt forgiveness is another one. But they also want to ensure that something big happens. Okay, Something big has to happen really over the next month or two or else Democrats don't really have much to campaign on. And if you watch the video that I did this morning, you would know that President Biden has been out there uh, providing speeches. He talked in Portland, he talked in uh, Seattle uh, just last week, and he's really been kind of all over the place. But what he's doing is he's talking about and uh, pretty much touting the, the bills that were passed over the past year. Not anything current, not anything that's going to happen moving forward. He's been applauding the results or the, the efforts of Democrats from the previous year. Now, I honestly believe Republicans know that Democrats are going to try to pass something. They have to. So what we are going to see is a, a major, uh, pretty much uh, political game where Republicans are going to block whatever bill comes to the floor because if it's not proposed by a Republican and Republicans can't spin it that way, that, oh, this was proposed by a Republican, this is a Republican bill that Democrats helped us pass, Republicans are not going to do that. They're not going to give a win to Democrats this close to the midterm elections because they know everything that has gone on over the past year and what President Biden is going through, it's going to negatively impact the Democratic Party. They understand that. So here's what I can tell you. To answer your question, will families be taken care of in 2022? The answer is possibly yes. Now I say possibly because there's no guarantee. Just because some Republicans wanna see a child tax credit payment, as well as many Democrats, it doesn't mean they're gonna have the votes. It doesn't mean they're gonna to come together and pass it. It doesn't mean they're gonna have the, the time, it doesn't mean they're gonna have the, the you know, potential revenue, whether it's from taxes or something else. It doesn't mean they're gonna have any of that. And we know moderates and Republicans do not want to see our national deficit increase. Most Democrats say they don't want to see that either, but at the same time, if it comes down to deficit spending versus seeing the American people suffer, most Democrats are going to say, well, we need to deficit spend. The problem is the whole thing, everybody would suffer eventually because of runaway inflation. So what I can tell you at this point is, will we see $1,000 or $1,250 monthly checks for children, possibly. But the likelihood is it wouldn't happen in 2022. It would happen after the midterm elections. So just keep in mind that there's a lot of stuff being discussed. There's a lot of people out there pushing that, yes, we're getting $2,000 checks. Don't worry about it. We're going to get these $350 child tax credit payments. Yeah, they're coming. Don't worry about it. Just wait and they'll show up in your bank account. No, that's not what's happening. Okay. I just want to be honest with you guys. I want to be transparent. I want to tell you what's actually happening. What's actually happening is there are discussions, but the discussions might not lead to anything. So as we know more, I promise I'll come back on, share all latest news and updates. Again, just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.